everybody and welcome to the Tennessee State Museum story time with Miss Morgan. It's great to see you guys again today. I hope everyone's doing well on this sunny day. So today you guys I'm very excited. We get to read a book that my dad used to read to me when I was little. It's called When I Was Young in the Mountains by Cynthia Ranlett illustrated by Diane Good. Okay you guys ready? Here we go. When I was young in the mountains, Grandfather came home in the evening covered with the black dust of a coal mine. Only his lips were clean and he used them to kiss the top of my head. You see how they have a pitcher and a bowl ready so he can wash his face? When I was young in the mountains, Grandmother spread the table with hot cornbread, pinto beans, and fried okra. Mmm, mmm. Later, in the middle of the night, she walked through the grass with me to the Johnny house and held my hand in the dark. I promised never to eat more than one serving of okra again. Way back here in the back of this picture is the Johnny house, which is their bathroom. So sometimes people have bathrooms that are outside of their homes. When I was in the mountains, we walked across the cow pasture and through the woods carrying our towels. The swimming hole was dark and muddy, and we sometimes saw snakes, but we jumped in anyway. Say, cowabunga! <sighs> Looks pretty fun. On our way home, we stopped at Mr. Crawford's for a mound of white butter. Mr. and Mrs. Crawford looked alike and always smelled of sweet milk. Wow, look at this cool grocery store they used to go to, you guys. I see eggs and ham and cornmeal, all kinds of things, just like a grocery store today. <clears throat> when I was young in the mountains, we pumped pails of water from the well at the bottom of the hill and heated the water to fill round tin tubs for our baths. Afterward, we stood in front of the old black stove, shivering and giggling, while grandmother heated cocoa on top. See, there's their bathtub right there. Mm, I don't know about you guys, but I do love me some hot chocolate. When I was young in the mountains, we went to church in the schoolhouse on Sundays and sometimes walked the congregation through the cow pasture to the dark swimming hole for baptisms. My cousin Peter was laid back into the water and his white shirt stuck to him and my grandmother cried. When I was in the mountains, we listened to frogs singing at dusk and woke to cowbells outside our windows. Sometimes a black snake came into the yard and my grandmother would threaten it with a hoe. Uh-oh, see the snake right there? He's scaring the chickens. If it did not leave, she used the hoe to kill it. Four of us once dragged a very long snake, dead of course, across our necks for a photograph. Why, well, yeah, that's one crazy photograph. I don't know about you, but I would be a bit scared to do that. When I was young in the mountains, we sat on the porch swing in the evenings, and Grandfather sharpened my pencils with his pocket knife. Grandmother sometimes shelled beans and sometimes braided my hair. The dogs lay around us, and the stars sparkled in the sky. A bob, wheat, a bob white whistled in the forest. Bob, bob, white. Bob, bob, white. When I was young in the mountains, I never wanted to go to the ocean, and I never wanted to go to the desert. I never wanted to go anywhere else in the world, for I was in the mountains, and that was always enough. The end. The reason I really like this book, you guys, is because the author here uses her five senses to describe the things in the book. So you can hear those frogs, you can feel that muddy water when they jump in. So what I'd like you to do today is if you can do it by yourself or maybe ask your mom or dad or maybe an older sibling to help you. But I want you to write down what, you would, what you're going to do for the day. What activities do you do? And use those five senses to describe them. So have fun and turn it into a story about you. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time with Storytime with Miss Morgan. Bye guys!